Kemi Amalululunlayo in Lagos, Nigeria. It's the 2nd of August, 2021. We have breaking news coming out of Abuja, where we're now learning that the Inspector General of Police has fired Abakiari. Now, in the last 48 hours, most of you heard that Kiari has been suspended from the Nigerian police pending an investigation by the PSC. That's the Police Service Commission, who will determine if he's prosecuted here or he's extradited to the U.S. At this time, we're learning that he has been fired by the IGP and has been replaced by Tsunji Disu. Tsunji Disu is going to head the Intelligence Response Unit now. Now, a lot of you know Tsunji Disu. He's the Deputy Commissioner of Police and he's going to be the head of the Police Intelligence Response Team, the IRT. Now, you guys remember I was talking about the IRT on my interview with Galaxy TV yesterday because I said they should shut down the IRT and the STS, the Special Tactical Squad. Now, when I said they should shut it down, basically, you can't just shut it down and have nothing. They should reconstitute it with good hands, the right people. So the appointment of Tsunji Disu is just a sequel to the police management's decision to fill the leadership there at the IRT. You know, I had a problem with Hush Puppy, okay, running that area. If Hush Puppy has influence with the DCP of the fraud unit, then our integrity is gone. I said all that on Galaxy TV. His relationship with Hush Puppy, I told you that the Americans have classified files, and once they declassify it, we're going to see more. He said he only spent 300000 took it from him, and made some clothes. But now the Americans have seen, you know, they have since, you know, opened these files. And <laughs> what I saw was WhatsApp chats between Kiari and Hush Puppy. The WhatsApp chats, Hush Puppy has opened his WhatsApp for them. He did a plea deal. He doesn't want to go to prison for 20 years. So with the plea deal now, they have his WhatsApp, his phone, everything. In those chats, he transferred close to $16,000 to Kiari to arrest Chibuzo, which is eight million. So what the FBI wants is how this money moved around, money that Hushwapi defrauded somebody off. So at the end of the day, <clears throat> there's a statement now that I'm getting from the police spokesman. Mba is saying IGP has appointed Sunji Disu as head of police intelligence response team. The IRT is a good team. Guys, you need to know what's going on in your country. Okay, not just because I'm a journalist. You need to know. That's why I educate you about this. Okay? I don't have a media house. I don't have an office. Nothing. Okay? I do this in my home office and I research and do all this work for you. The IRT, the Intelligence Response Team, is needed. If you know the kind of cases these guys have solved, I'll give you one. Professor Lebari, Potakot, University of Potakot professor, who was killed in his house by his houseboy, Gitman, and the cook because he brought five million naira into the house. A whole lot of money that he gave him for a talk. They killed him, buried him, and his phone was sold. And the person that bought the phone was a student at University of Port Harcourt. Okay, the IRT tracked that phone to that student. They brought him to Port Harcourt prison. That's where I met him. You see, and because he goes to the University of Port Harcourt, they linked him immediately to the murder of the professor. But it was not him. It was the staff in the house, two Togolese, and they fled, and they caught one. So the RRT has a very good record of doing it. There's always a good cop where the bad ones are. So at the end of the day, Tsunji Tisu is the new head of the IRT. And that's what I said. Let them shut it down and put good people there who can run the unit, okay? And have them trained well. That's why I suggested Toronto Police should come in and have them train everybody. The STS is still out there, the Special Tactical Squad, okay? They're still acting like SARS out there. And there's some of the STS officers still extorting people. So it's very important that I keep talking. They're watching my videos. They're talking to me. I tried to talk to Frankie Bay yesterday. He's the spokesman. He has to tell the media and everybody else what's going on. We're going to support our police, but they have to be good. They have to know the job. ITP Usman Al-Kheli Al you know, said he assures that citizens, we the citizens, okay, that the IRT will remain focused on the discharge of its duties with national statutes and international best practices. So, Mr. Disu, 
gets to work, okay? He used to be here in Lagos. You guys remember him. He's the former commander of the Rapid Response Squad in Lagos State, RSS, all right? And he was also the DCP of operations at the force headquarters in Abuja. So we have good news there. Abakiari removed. He's now facing all kinds of things. And we have um, Mr. Disu at IRS. So that's the latest for now. I'm Dr. Kemi Olunlayo. Until the next update. So once again, the Americans, the FBI, have declassified another part of their files. The WhatsApp chats between Kiari and Hush Puppy. So Kiari lied. He actually collected $16,000, $8 from Hush Puppy. I wonder what else is in the files, but let's keep watching. The PSC is still going to do what I told you they're going to do. All right? They're going to set up a panel. One CSP, two DIGs, and one AIG. The four cops will determine whether Kiari is extradited or he's prosecuted here. The way it's looking right now, it looks like they're going to prosecute him here. I spoke to someone who is in his team of lawyers. Okay, one of the lawyers said to me basically that, yeah, they might just, it will be a long drawn process, but he'll be prosecuted here. They haven't told anybody officially, but I got that information. So that's it for now. Thanks.